Welcome to my System.io review, the all-in-one platform that lets you launch your business faster than your morning coffee kicks in. If you want to see what it can do, be sure to click the link in the description or the pinned comment to try it for free and thank your wallet later. Let's begin. So yes, System does come with that free plan. What's even better is the fact that they come with so many features. If I hover over these, you're going to see that there's plenty of dashboards you can go to, say like the affiliate dashboard, student dashboard when it comes to courses. Inside of the CRM, of course, there's going to be contacts, tags, pipelines, and calendars. Within websites, yes, you can create blogs, sales funnels, which I'm going to show you momentarily, and even digital stores that you can leverage when, say, selling on Instagram or TikTok. Don't forget about emails. You can set broadcast. You can do campaigns and follow-ups as well. Automations, yes, you can certainly use those. Say if someone signs up, add them to your email list, give them an email, and so on and so forth. There's going to be assets when it comes to physical products, coupons, and courses, and communities too. And don't forget about sales within that. They even have the ability to leverage your own affiliate program. A true all-in-one platform, but is it going to be the most powerful platform out there? Let's find out. Starting off first when it comes to creating landing pages and sales funnels. As you can see right here, there's going to be a plethora of different templates that you can utilize. For example, if I'm going to click on the 30 right here and scroll down, I can go through for a good amount of time when it comes to creating a landing page that I want. As an example, this is going to be an opt-in page or just a simple lander. And let's say I wanted to go with this one right here. You can obviously preview any of these, but if I wanted to choose it, I'm going to go with select right here. There's also going to be the thank you page, and this is going to be the order in which your visitors are going to see, say, your squeeze page, then your thank you page, then something else. And there's plenty of other steps and, of course, templates that come along with them. Sales pages, order forms, upsells, downsells. So, yes, you can utilize those thank you pages, more opt-in and squeeze pages. There's some miscellaneous. And, of course, webinar registration, thank you, and broadcast pages. Those are going to be beneficial if you do have a higher premium plan, which is going to be paid for monthly. I'll get into that when we talk about the pricing nevertheless. So there are a lot of great templates. I think some of them are going to be basic. Some of them look fantastic. So it's a little bit of everything in between. No doubt you're definitely going to find one that you like that you can easily edit, but allow me to show you how that works as well. So here has the drag and drop editor. All of the main elements are going to be on the left side where if you wanted to use anything, you simply drag, you drop just like that. And of course, add it in. I wouldn't want to put it there, but I'm just going to show you how that works. Anything that you wanted to change, you can click on change your text, change the font. It is pretty straightforward. It's mostly comes down to finding what you want to edit, clicking on it, editing it, and of course, moving from there. Then again, I am a huge fan of using templates because I understand that when using one, it makes it so much easier for you to get up and running. As an example, if you wanted to use this specific landing page, ideally, you're going to want to change the picture to you, change around the headline. Of course, you can change the top when it comes to these specific menus. And of course, scrolling down, you can just change this into the basic benefits of whatever it is you're going to be promoting, what you're all about, what books you have, what eBooks, what you're all about here. Once again, not sure where to start. And of course, you can always just edit around and change everything. If you've used any type of drag and drop builder before, you're probably not going to have any problems with this one. So that's a good thing. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, nothing too complex. And I think that's a big thumbs up here. When it comes to creating landing pages and sales funnels, ideally, you're most likely going to be generating leads. And what do you want to do once you capture those leads? Send them emails. And this is where the email campaigns comes into play. Don't forget, they do have the ability to send newsletters or broadcasts, just simple one-off emails. So you can send those at any time. These are going to be more specific when you want something a little bit more automated. And I'll show you how it works. After creating a campaign, simply click on Save. And from there, let's click on our actual campaign to see how it works. All right, so this is going to be the subject line. We have our sender name, we have our email address, and let's click on save. All right, so this is going to be the editor when it comes to creating your emails. Once again, we have our subject, we have a little bit of preview in case you want a little bit more after your subject line, your email is going to go there. If you need to add any attachments, you can do that as well. But let me just throw in an email very quickly to show you how it works. All right, so here's a very quick example of what it looks like when creating an email. Of course, you can add your links. Pretty straightforward. I'm just going to use this as an example so I can show you how the automation works whenever someone signs up. So that would be an example of an email and how you go about creating it. This would say be the first follow up. We can do save and publish. And of course, this would be sent out automatically whenever someone opts in. So let's do activate. So we just created an email, but how do we get it out to people who are going to opt in? Allow me to show you how that works as well. All right, so here we are back in a specific funnel where we have a two-step lander. Let's go to edit the page. 
And so the reason I want to show you this is kind of a testament to their simplicity when it comes to some of the biggest and most popular features, because ideally you're probably going to want to be using automation in some way, shape or form. And by doing that, we can click on the button right here where they're going to join. And as you can see, they submit form, they go to the next step, but we want to add that automation rule. We can click on add action right here. And ideally, whenever they do this, we want them to subscribe to a campaign, the one you just created. We can choose our campaign right here with this and we can do save rule. Perfect, so now you can see it's gonna be right there. We can click on save. And ideally, whenever you create your landing page or squeeze page, that's how it's gonna work when it comes to automation rules. But you can do a whole lot more when it comes to automation. Let me back out and show you. All right, so we have our automation rule right here, and all we really need to do is just add another one if we needed to. We can click on add rule, and as you can see, there's gonna be trigger. For this specifically, it's just on page visited. But upon doing so, there's gonna be plenty of actions as you might have seen previously. All right, so as you can see, they're subscribing and unsubscribing from a campaign, the one we did. You can add or remove tags, so like if someone buys, they are now a customer, it's good to note that. You can send emails or maybe to a specific email address. You can enroll or revoke access to a course. If you're feeling a little fancy, you can send webhooks. Of course, there's the community access too, whether you wanna grant or revoke. You can enroll or revoke access to a course bundle, and of course, adding to a pipeline stage. I'm not gonna say that it's the most advanced automations in the world, like you can't do something where it's going to be like, yeah, they buy, let's send them a gift card, let's send them a physical mail address, let's get them on our calendar, let's do this, let's do that. Uh, it's not going to be as advanced as a lot of the other CRMs out there, but what it can do is definitely good enough for a lot of the typical marketing actions that you're probably going to want to take on a daily basis, say like adding a tag or just subscribing to a campaign. We talked a little bit about courses when it comes to some of the automations that you can do, and in my opinion, they're going to be pretty standard, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna say that you can really compare System to a lot of the bigger online course platforms. I just don't think they'd be able to compete. It's good enough to help you when it comes to getting up and running with a course and having a place to put it, but you're not looking at a whole lot of bells and whistles here. You can see with your introduction, if you're gonna be adding a lecture here, these are gonna be the templates that you can utilize. And in my opinion, they're about as basic as can be. If I just preview it right here, you can see exactly what I mean. A video, some text, anything else. And that's pretty much what you're gonna have when it comes to using some of the templates inside the course builder. So ideally, the process is straightforward. Give it a name. If you want to drip delay it, you can do that as well. And the process is going to be just repetitive when it comes to creating your lectures, editing your modules. Of course, there's students. And also, you can view and customize your theme. So at least there is a small amount of settings to this. But just don't expect anything like Thinkific when it comes to creating that beautiful and almost flawless course community. Speaking of communities, this is also gonna be yet another feature that I think is helpful, but at the same time, extremely basic. Allow me to show you what it looks like. So I did a tutorial about this, and in my opinion, it's very similar to a Facebook group, but the big benefit here is that it's not on Facebook, so you're not gonna have any of your customers or your subscribers or just your audience be distracted by a lot of raving viral cat videos floating around their timeline, or even worse, having your competitors' ads show up in your group. So you can obviously post here, there's gonna be tags, there's gonna be sections, anyone can post here, you have a pin post, and from then on out, it's not a whole lot extra that's going on here. You have some members, you have some settings in terms of what you want it to look like, and maybe logos and so on and so forth, but this is about as basic as basic gets. If you're looking for anything advanced when it comes to communities and courses, you're not gonna be getting it here, but at least you are getting it, and it's great that you can utilize these even within the free plan, which is a nice touch. Speaking of the free plan and pricing, as you can see here with their freemium plan, it is going to be $0 a month. So you can use it for as long as you want. Ideally, you're going to be looking to upgrade when you hit the specific number of contacts, obviously more than 2000. Or if you want to upgrade on a lot of these, say automation rules, workflows, sales funnels, sales funnel steps. If you want webinars, you know, more AB test, custom domains, and so on and so forth. So they do have some good integrations with payment, and as you can see, they're gonna be all the way across the board. But when you look at the pricing, upgrading starts at $27 a month, not too shabby at all. Upgrading from there, you're looking at $47 a month, which includes webinars, and if you want the full package, it's gonna be $97 a month, and you pretty much just get unlimited everything, so pretty good when it comes to perks, and it's great when it comes to starting off, as they have their freemium plan, which in my opinion, comes with a good amount of goodies, bells and whistles. 
All right, so let's put a nice little bow on the system.io review, shall we? So if you're just getting started and your wallet's currently doing the whole I'm on vacation thing, system.io is a no-brainer. It's got funnels, email marketing, course hosting, affiliate management, you know, all the businessy stuff you normally have to piece together with duct tape and five different tools. And the best part, you don't need to sell a kidney to afford it. But let's keep it real. If you're the kind of person who dreams in advanced automations and needs your funnels to do backflips, System.io might feel a little basic. There are definitely stronger platforms out there if you're running a full-blown digital empire or just like things dialed up to 11. That said, for beginners or anyone who wants to get up and running faster than a toddler after bedtime, System.io holds its own. Now, if you're curious, there's a link below where you can take it for a spin. And hey, if you want something with a little bit more horsepower, I dropped a second link for a more powerful alternative that might just be your new favorite thing. Anyway, that wraps it up for this one. I hope it helped you inch a little closer to being the right tool for your online biz. Got questions, comments, a clever call to action you're actually proud of? Drop it down below and I'll be around. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.